What type of a contraction? Concentric. Concentric with or against gravity? Against. 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 You got it. Now, if he lowers down from here, from 90 to 0, which muscle group is going to lower him down? 90? No, from oh. 0. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going back. Just to 0. Go back to 0. Go ahead. What muscle flexor. group? Flexor. What type of a contraction? Eccentric. With or against gravity? With. You got it. You got it. Okay. Now, if he gets above 90, okay? So now he's at 90 and he's going to keep flexing. And now you're having Now, work. what muscle group is creating this, which is the agonist? Extensors. Shoulder extensors. Is this concentric or eccentric? Eccentric. Eccentric. Why? Because you're going with gravity, slowing down gravity. So we've taken him from standing upright, where gravity is affecting downward the whole time, to now he's in supine. So at 90 degrees of flexion, the whole world flips. Okay, so gravity's pulling down. Now gravity's pulling him down here. So his shoulder extensors are the ones that are working eccentrically to lower him back to nowhere near 180. <laughs> do, a little, do I need to bump you? So now if he's at his highest end range here, and he's going back up to 90. Now what muscle group is working? Extensors. Shoulder extensors still. What type of a contraction? Concentric. Concentric with or against gravity? Against. against. You got it. What about this one? Now he's lowering back down again. Eccentric. 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 Shoulder flexors. With or against gravity. Control the is the rule always concentric against gravity and eccentric with? Is that a good Most thing? of the time in normal situations, but when you start adding cables, yeah, now gravity resistance. is no longer the resistance. Great. When you're in water, gravity is no longer okay. the resistance. If you're in a different position, you go to the gym and you'll find all kinds of funky things going yeah. on where people are <laughs> inverted and using cables, and so you have to figure out where the force is. Okay. But in general, with most of our activities... Concentric is against gravity. Eccentric is with gravity. <laughs> when you're inside lying and you're doing flexion and extension, now your gravity eliminated or minimized. So gravity's not really working in that same way. All right. Unless you're at death. Right. Oh my God. Right. Okay. <laughs> so that's really important to know because if you have someone who is weak and they're lifting their arm and you have them in supine, and they're doing, working on shoulder flexion, they're going to work, work, work those shoulder flexors until they get to 90. And then as soon as they hit 90, gravity's going to help them instead of resist them. But if I have them standing up trying to lift above 90, gravity is still working against them. So if you have someone who's weak or someone who um, has an injury, something that is preventing them from lifting their arm overhead, you can have them lie down and work their exercises, and now they're going to get assisted instead of resisted. But you need to know that as far as how you progress someone, and we'll talk about that as we go through our different joints of motion. But realize gravity plays a big role most of the time, so what direction is gravity um, affecting the body? So we can go with it or go against it, and that's going to change our exercise prescription. Or we can okay. eliminate it. Or we can eliminate it, yes. So Doesn't that make you feel powerful? So I can do it this way. <laughs> I can do it this way. Mm -hmm. Or I can do it this way, which is this way. Mm -hmm. sure. All right. Yeah, ma'am. So, so for that last question, when he's, so if Ryan's lying down and he has his <coughs> arm 90. Arm 90. And you're going back down to zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple questions, and it says, is the force producing the movement muscle or is gravity? Okay, that's a quite good question. So what's so if gravity was acting, that's what would happen. So <coughs> if my muscles help control the descent in an eccentric manner, then I can control the descent and I get uh, a, a little contraction here. A contraction helps. Is what I'm saying. So are you looking at C where it says is the resistance uh -huh. to the B movement yeah, muscle or gravity? To? So, so the resistance just, to just, movement. So we just did B. Mm -hmm. That was B. And then the next one is, is the resistance to the movement muscle or... Ooh, that's, that's a letter question. Right. 
So, so what is <laughs> what is resisting movement? Because gravity is creating movement. What is more than that? So, so my is three fourteen. Let's see if I can do it. Not very good at this part. But he just said that the force is. Wait a minute. Hey, Matthew, what number are you on? 15. Huh? 15 Thank you. Okay. Set the second phase. Is those things about this? So, <coughs> the question's asking the force acting on the arm should be gravity, so the resistance is going to come from. If I'm not mistaken, I think the resistance is coming from the muscle, the pull. Yeah, yeah you got it. Because the force is acting, gravity <coughs> yeah. is acting to bring it down. So what is that? The movement, the movement. That's a second, second class. class. Which, is, which makes sense because it's eccentric. That's a hard one. Mm -hmm. The way they learned it. Um, I mean, so let's just break it down as simple as we can. I'm lifting something through a bicep curl, okay? I'm generating the force in my muscle. I'm creating a lot of force to lift that thing up, okay? But, when I'm trying to bring it down against gravity, gravity is creating the force. Gravity is kind of facilitating the downward movement, and I'm resisting it to control it. That's one way to think about it. So I have to create a lot of force to overcome gravity, but then to control the movement against gravity, I have to create some resistance. I don't know. There's different ways to think about it. However, just remember, just if you remember the rules, you're golden. Our part. Our part. Our part.